Hey, what's up guys? My name is JD from JD Tech here and welcome back to the channel. We're doing a follow-up part two of the $10,000 quad computer Ethereum mining rig. Yeah, that's that's a long name, but that's, that's, that's what it is. So I'm at my friend's house right now. We are about to do a follow-up video on what the exact situation is with the uh, four computers. So as I said last time in the end of the video that we can't run all four of them off of one breaker. So we're splitting it up between four breakers. So we're gonna put them in separate cases and mount them to the cases. Yeah, I'm gonna explain what the heck is going on because I know a lot of you were like, okay, this is awesome, but what's going on? <laughs> Okay, so he ordered these uh, cases to put all the GPUs in with the motherboard and the PSU to make it a little bit more travel friendly or mobile, I guess. So that's going to be the first step. I'm also going to explain what the heck is going on with all that stuff over there. But yes, first off, we're going to get everything into this case right here and uh, I'll explain everything from there on. All right, so I'm going to explain what's going on here. Um, so yes, we're using Intel Celeron because with GPU mining, especially for Ethereum, it's all GPU based. There's nothing CPU based. You just need the CPU to basically turn on the computer. That's pretty much it and run the OS. There's very little communication between the CPU and the GPU. And that's why we use those risers that you saw, the one times risers that were going into each single PCIe slot. So I'll explain that. So you can see here that we have seven PCIe slots. We got one there, two, three, four, five, that's a PCI, and then six right there. So I might have said seven, but I meant six. So we have six of them to run all six GPUs using those risers, which are those little things that we stuck in here and ran that USB connection to, in which you don't need a huge amount of bandwidth to do some GPU mining. That's um, that's just, you don't need that at all. So that's pretty much the status of what's kind of going on. We'll explain that further. And then we're gonna take this uh, PSU right here, the Corsair 1200 watt I, and we're gonna put it right over here. I know that's not focused in, but we're gonna put it in right over there. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so now we have to uh, cut down all these GPUs right here and then put them back onto the case. So uh, we're going to make that kind of transition right now. Ooh. Transition! Okay, so this, this is the riser right here. And what a riser essentially is, is converting that one times PCIe slot to a 16 times PCIe slot through a USB connection. And like I said earlier, you really don't need uh, that much bandwidth between the uh, the CPU and the GPU, so the USB connection is perfectly fine. Um, this is a very this is a standard riser, so that's really not an issue whatsoever. So that's where it gets plugged into the motherboard, and you just plug that in on right there, and then you have to um, power the riser as well, and of course the GPU. And um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it as far as the risers to clear up any of that confusion. Take four. Hi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's the there's the USB riser right there, running up to the GPU, up to the riser platform up there. Um, so basically, this is just a one-time slot right here, as you can see, and it can go in any of these. As you can see, the 16, the by 16 PCIe slot, it will just fit right there. So. That's what we use all the way across up here, except for this PCI slot. So we have the first chassis done here. We have all the wires bunched up over here with zip ties. I know it's not the neatest thing, but it's a lot more neat than that catastrophe down there. What you saw on the video before this one, um, for part one. But yes, we have 
it all next to each other, all nicely lined up and condensed. So uh, yeah, it's looking great. All right, we're setting up PC number two. We're gonna do this three more times. If you can see my fingers into the frame of shot and uh, we are currently screwing down the motherboard. We're gonna try to get some uh, cable management on this one as well. And uh, yeah, let's get PC number two down. Alright, number two is done and ready to go. We got two more to go. Look at that cable management. I know it's not really pretty, but it's a lot better than it was before. Okay, so now we're doing uh, the third one here. Well, three and four. Four is below that one. And uh, yeah, you can hear the fans going right now. Actually, no, that's a box fan, never mind. But it sounds almost the same. Yeah, we're gonna get three and four. I forgot my screwdriver. How Oops. dare you? And your screw fell off. Just so you know. They didn't have to know that, that happened off camera. Oh, uh, actually I'm recording right now, so. Uh, yeah, it's totally on camera. It's <laughs> all on it a frame? I don't think it's a frame. I got a wide angle lens on there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> IMAX 3D. I got a fish eye lens on there. Yeah. How is every one of these underneath that? <laughs> They're underneath the bottom one. Literally every single cord has been underneath this bottom GPU. They're there to give you a hard I, time. I can't believe this. It's a hard. I can't. I can't believe you did. This. All those wires are stuck They're between a, a rock and a hard place. Every one has been underneath or that same one. Or a GPU in a hard one. place. It's like you put that one on top of all of them. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Just oh, I totally put these in backwards. <laughs> Whatever. Just yeah. know that the risers go from one to six, and the GP goes six through one. <laughs> okay. Just so you know, that makes complete sense. Uh, you know. It's in the tech YouTuber. All tech YouTubers lie. Bunch of fake people. All they're trying to do is get a dollar. Endorsements by saying you like every single product. You're not trying to alienate a company. How dare you, sir. I know, right? All right. Number three is done. Managed. Slightly, slightly cable managed. I guess. I would not submit this to a tech source. He would kill me for uh, this cable management. Absolutely terrible. But for what we got, it was a lot better than before. And I know that's the third time of me saying that, but I'm gonna say it again because I'm just proud of it. Not really. Okay, well. What the hell is that? What? There's an ant on this motherboard. Is an ant? It's a dead ant. What is that? It's burnt, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, it was probably in the middle of mining. It's a fly? And you just got you just got crispy creamed. Uh, look at that poor little poor little guy. So say he probably just walked on there thinking it was a, a nice breezy day, and then he just jumped on there and got flash fried. Focus. There we go. You got it. You got this. You got full fledged faith in you. Thank you. I don't deserve it. All right. Let's see. That's yeah, sturdy. You should put 12 more down. <laughs> Hurricane proof this. My boy. <laughs> see, look at that. You see that magnetic tip? Mm. God uh, dang it. Keep on smashing into the motherboard. Yeah, don't screw it through the motherboard and like screw up all the circuitry underneath. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Can you look in the manual for that? What does it say about when you break it in half? Is duct tape suitable? Oh my God. <laughs> it's like the fourth time he did that. You can't do this. I was I was thinking more like super glue. The duct tape should work. Oh my God. You're gonna you're gonna break it, man. I'm kidding. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I am. Don't worry. Careful. I, I got plenty of Careful. other ones in the corner. 
Yeah, but they only have four PCIe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're not screwed. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, uh, you gotta finish it. Well, nope. Five. There's five in right now. Come on. That's good. You got this. No. <laughs> you got this. I'm done. <laughs> I'm still waiting. No. I think the uh, the five eighties are nice and ripe to uh, hang them, unhang them, and now we can. They, they can mature and we'll put them in the slaughterhouse. I'm kidding. Take a joke. It's fine. Ugh. I feel like I'm touching diamonds right now. You're mining them. They're mining the diamonds with diamonds. Mine diamonds with diamonds? You know, that kind of makes sense because like in Minecraft, you know, make yourself a diamond pickaxe. And you go mine for more diamonds, or better yet, obsidian. But technically, you can mine diamonds with diamonds. I have just found a revelation within itself. That is the whole entire philosophy behind Ethereum mining. You got it, man. Thanks for the, the support. I need it. I know you need the support. That's why I'm here right now. You know, it makes me really wary pushing down this motherboard pin because it's like off the off the standoff so oh, it just yeah. like bends <laughs>